This is the Leonard Lopate Show, but I'm not Leonard Lopate. I'm John Turturro, and I'll be your guest host today. My first guest today is someone I kind of know for the past 24 years. You go way back. <laughs> we were born three weeks apart, and we both grew up fanatical Nick fans and have remained suffers until this day. All right, let me ask you a question <laughs> before you introduce me. Okay. You're not going over the Brooklyn Nets, are you? No. Thank uh, you. I'm blue and orange. Thank you. I'm blue and orange. Thank you. What about your son? The, the Nets uh, represent what, what the your, old what, ABA. Uh, what about your son? I think he'll he'll remain. You think? I, well, he, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, he he likes the Baltimore Ravens, so I, that's it. Anyway, we've made about what, we've made eight films together. More than that. And his latest Red Hook Summer opens today, and I'm pleased to have Mr. Spike Lee with me now. My man, John Turturro. What's happening, baby? Okay. I'm, Glad to be here. I'm nice to have you here. Uh, congratulations on your new film. Thank you. I enjoyed it very much. And I was curious just to sort of start out, because always everyone will ask, you know, it's a story, has it been in the works for a long time? Mm -hmm. But how did it sort of come about? Well, one morning, one early Saturday morning, I called my man, James McBride, said, we got to have breakfast. We met at the Vion Coffee Shop corner, 61st in Madison, Bagley, across from Barney's, the best coffee shop in New York City. Mm. And we were just talking about what we felt where cinema is today, Hollywood, black cinema. I had just bought a new Sony F3 camera, digital camera. And I said, look, I got this camera. I got some money. Let's write something. And uh, we both have teenage children. And we talk about how when was the last time we saw a, a black teenager film that wasn't a gangbanger. Mm -hmm. and, and then it just evolved from that. James grew up in Red Hook. Oh, really? He grew up in the church. The church you see in the film, his parents founded that church. It's the New Brown, it's the New Brown Memorial Church. And then when Carmelo got traded to the Knicks, I, I did a thing on him, a short thing for internet for Boost Mobile, and, and we started the garden. We drove to the Red Hook Projects. We went to the building where he was born. Mm -hmm. Not born, but where he grew up, 79 Lorraine Street, Apartment 1C. So all these things just started to form. What kind of neighborhood was Red Hook when, when James McBride grew up there? It was Red Hook before gentrification. <laughs> right. I mean, that, that's a really fascinating I know. I mean, it's like, as history. you know, John, it's like it's stuck. I mean, you have to really want to go to Red Hook because right. the Beakwee comes right down, cuts it off from Cowell Gardens. There's only one bus, the B61. The train, Smith and Ninth Street, that thing's been closed for years. Right. And as you know, a good friend of ours, Bud Schilberg, who wrote On the Waterfront, that was supposed to, that was supposed to have been shot at Red Hook. Right. But the mob said, we'll kill you. You, Kazan, and Brando, and they had to shoot it in Hoboken. In Hoboken, right. So, so that's it, where it was inspired by, yeah, on the waterfront. Right, and uh, but the mob said, "Hell no, right. take to New Jersey." <laughs> <laughs> so they wound up in Hoboken like the Nets. <laughs> yeah. So, 